Hi everybody, it's the Soap Man and it's time to make some soap and today we'll be doing a soap in the slab mold and I will be using fragrance as you probably gathered by the title called Icy Shine from Nature's Garden. I've used it several times, behaves well, smells good and most important, you know what, holds its scent in gold process soap. It's going to be a pretty simple soap. We're going to have a base white, which obviously with titanium dioxide and a lot of it, two accent colors. I saw this in a garment of clothing. It was actually a flower, and the flower had dark green leaves, very dark, so I'm going to use Snake Island from Mad Micah's for the dark green leaves, and it had pink blossoms, so I'm going to use Bramble Berries Electric Bubble Gum. Lightened up with a little bit of TD. I'm going to drop swirl those into the white base and do a hanger swirl. And I will probably texture the top and maybe even do like a gold mica drizzle on it. So that's about it. Give me a minute to get set up and I'll be right back and we'll get started. Okay, we're ready to start building our soap. So I went ahead and put the pink and the white into this one because they need to be stick blended, not stirred. So let's go ahead and get our Snake Island Green in. And I think a half a teaspoon, maybe even less, is probably quite sufficient. And yes it is. Good enough, absolutely. So let's get our TD into our big container. Uh, I just have it mixed in hot water. Let me just give it a quick buzz, make sure nothing has settled. And I've done a steeper than usual water discount because there's so much TD with this. That usually prevents glycerin rivers, and I'm hoping that it does this time. And of course, as you know, this will brighten considerably when I stick blend it. Because that's a whopping one and a half tablespoons of titanium dioxide. So now, let's give it a quick stick blend to brighten up that titanium dioxide and to fully emulsify everything. Lightest to darkest, so we will start with our white. That makes such a difference. Now we'll do our pink. I went ahead and put the pink in there with the white. So just get the stick blender head on top and burp it, turn it on, and pull it up. Do our green and we'll put our fragrance in. And that's good enough. So I will put just a little in each of these. And the rest of this. Give them a stir and see how it's doing. But if I recall right, this fragrance is a very slow mover. I know it behaves well, but I think it's a very slow moving one. Yeah, I'm gonna end up giving these just a real quick hit. Just a little bit. 
let's get this into the mold. And I'm going to pour almost all the white in. And it's still a little thinner than I prefer. And then I'm going to drop our accents in, low and slow. Make sure you can see. Okay, we're getting a little thick, so I'm going to kind of spoon this on. Or maybe pour it and break the fall. Okay, that's going to have to sit for just a few minutes and thicken up just a little bit before I attempt the top, so I'll be back. Alright, let's see if I can do this. So I just have some shimmer gold mixed in some olive oil, and I'm just going to try to drizzle it down about the center of the bar. And let's see what happens.
And then I have some poppy seeds. I'm just going to drizzle down the center of each. Give it a squirt of rubbing alcohol to prevent soda ash. And I'll let that sit for about five minutes and squirt it again and put it on the heater to get it really hot and put it to bed. And I'll see you tomorrow for the cut. Let's see if you get a close up. Okay, it's time to cut our soap. So I was expecting a brighter white. This is more of an off-white, but other than that, I think I can see the colors, so I'm pretty sure the colors did exactly what I wanted. Now, let's just hope the swirls did what I wanted, because it was a little on the thin side for a hanger swirl, but we are going to find out. truth. Yep, colors are exactly what I was hoping for. So let's see, let's cut a few bars. And I am going to cut these on the side because I don't want drag marks with those poppy seeds on the top. <clears throat> yeah, that's the end piece. I think it'll be all right. Little on the thin, wispy sides. I like kind of bigger swirls, but definitely not bad. So let's cut one from the southern side of the southern log. Let's see what we have. Actually, I like this one better already.
So that is pretty close to my vision, not exactly, but not too far off. So I'm overall pretty pleased with this one. It does smell good. I like that fragrance. And then I'll finish cutting these and get some pictures. So thanks for watching, everybody. And like always, stay safe, take good care of yourselves, and be blessed. Bye, everybody.